Good morning. This is the Molly County Public Library Network Design and Upgrade by Katie Dawn Wing. This document will show the improvements to the Molly County Public Library and how they will benefit the library and the community as a whole. First will be listed is the background and current operation of the Molly County Public Library. Then will be listed the expansions and improvements that are to be implemented. For some background on the company, Molly County Public Library was opened in 1960. It serves all of Molly County with one single location. In-house services include book rental, DVD rental, internet cafe, law library, and, and ancestry lookup. Currently they have 18 full-time employees and 4 part-time employees. The current operations and logical view. The Molly County Public Library has 4 servers. Two servers are in-house and two are proprietary out of California. The California servers are for use of the card catalog innovated interfaces ILS AS systems. All issues with, the, with that system are handled through the California site via their IT department. The library uses a Windows based system and are currently using Windows XP. They are on a five year rotation. Um, each computer as it reaches five years of age will be retired and a new computer will be put in its place with the current Windows operating system. Each computer has the basic programs such as Office, Adobe, and Contribute. The library uses NAS Box or NAS Box as their internet data storage facility. The current business operations and logical view continued. A storage room on the second floor houses the servers, the two in-house servers. In addition, the library has a recorder that tapes the library's daily records. The tapes are stored off-site with an employee in the event of damage to the main building. There will be a re record from the last 12 hours of business. The library uses a 25 by 10 fiber connection through Paducah Power. There are 117 computers connected. The public computers are connected via hubs to the master switch. A simple wireless connection is also in place. And here is a physical layout of the first floor. Um, this includes the law library, the ancestry lookup computers, a printer connected to a computer, a um, circulation desk as well. And here is the physical layout for the second floor. There are two internet rooms, I'm sorry, two computer rooms that do have internet connection. There is a circulation desk and the server room is also located on the second floor. The existing network map, this is just a very basic view of the existing network. The existing network device list, there are 117 computers installed, 25 hubs, two proxy servers, two in-house servers, 10 printers, and one wireless router. This is the traffic flow analysis. The numbers used here in the diagram were taken from the sign-in sheet at the public computers just to give a rough estimate of the number of users at any given time during a typical day at the library. Please note that the wireless connection was not added to this. The network health checklist. The current network is not well documented until now. However, the network is working well for the Molly County Public Library. The network had also not been tested prior to this project. The problem statement. The Molly County Public Library needs to expand its service area. The, pro the library has one location in the downtown area and needs to be able to service the West Paducah, Lone Oak area. The library also wants to add a secure wireless connection at both locations. In implementing the changes, the new location will be set up in a similar fashion. The main differences will include a one floor building, limited book and DVD rental, 
and that is limited to the popular selection, not a full selection, which is what the current library has. And there will be a limited number of public computers. Another aspect will be adding a login mechanism for the wireless network so that the network administrator can monitor any and all activity on the wireless network. Here is just a very basic overview of the branch location. There will be firewalls in place. <clears throat> there will be a card catalog and public computer area. There will be a law library and ancestry lookup section. And there will be a circulation desk. And in the circulation desk will also be the server station instead of having a separate area for that. Here is a network device list and budget for the project. We will need, the Molly County Public Library will need to purchase a building. Um, the estimated cost for that will be $322,000. Furniture, such as desk, chairs, and that will be an a will be at a cost of approximately $25,000. They will need to purchase 55 computers, which does include public use, card catalog, circulation desk, and employee computers. They are at a cost of $45,375. They will need to purchase two servers at an approximate cost of $3,800. They will also need to purchase four routers at a cost of approximately $740. They will need to purchase two switches at an approximate cost of $400. There will also be, be miscellaneous costs such as wiring and so forth at a cost of approximately $5,000. The total approximate cost for this project will be $402,315. We do hope to come in. Schedule for implementation. The project is estimated to be completed in one year. Molly County must do the following to complete the project. Find and purchase a building. Renovate the building by installing the furniture. Um, and they will install and test all of the network components. Security policies. The security policies that will be implemented in the new location as well as the old, old location will be login mechanisms for wireless users, password upgrades, and frequent security meetings. In conclusion, the project for the Molly County Public Library will benefit not only the library, but will serve the community as a whole. The extra location will allow customers that live in the West Paducah Lone Oak area to have access to a popular selection of books and DVDs, public computers, and internet access. The secure wireless connection will provide a safe place for children, students, and other customers while they are using the internet through their mobile devices.